Just a quick shout out before we start to my sponsor for this month, the O'Canahan School of Natural Hoof Care. And this is a sagittal section, meaning straight down the middle of a hoof. And what I want to show you particularly here is this part here. We're looking again at the navicular bone and the deep digital flexor tendon. So let me just show you where the navicular bone is. That's this bone here. And this is the digital flexor tendon, also known as the DDFT or deep digital flexor tendon. And that inserts here underneath the coffin bone, which is here, or it's also known as P3 or the distal phalanx or the pedal bone. And this is the short paston bone, also known as P2. So what's interesting about this compared to other dissections that I've done? Well, the first thing is this big hole through here. And part of me is thinking about when we look at x-rays with navicular disease and it's disease of the navicular bone. I don't know whether you've heard the term lollipop lesions. And I think what that is, is that you, when they look at the bone under x-ray, it looks like lollipops on a stick. And I'm wondering if this could be a lollipop lesion. I'm not sure, uh, but it just seems really odd and it's actually quite big as well. Now the other thing about this is if you look at this tendon running around here, it's actually quite thin. And this was a reasonably sized horse, 16.3, uh, warm blood. And I would have thought that that um, DFT would have been a little bit thicker than that but it's not. But what I do want you to see is what's going on here. It's, it's quite different to what I've seen before. We're looking at this part here and it looks as though the, this cartilage area on the navicular bone, which is supposed to glide and slide around with this deep digital flexor tendon, has got this big gouge out of it. And almost looks like scar tissue in there. It does seem very odd. And when I pull this back a little bit, there seems to be, it looks like there's some cartilage missing from that part there. Uh, just as a side, there's a little blood vessel under there. Can you see? It's just poking its way through quite nicely. And for some of you eagle-eyed people, I wonder if you've seen this as well. There's something also going on in this foot. Apart from this going on here, there's something here and I'd normally see a nice rounded bone with a nice piece of cartilage on here, but there's like a big gouge out of that. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can have a look at that. 